The topic for today is printmaking and we're going to be looking a little bit at the processes involved with printmaking and we are actually in the Artist Proof Studios in Newtown today to come and have a look at exactly how this is done. The Cecil Art Collection actually has quite a large number of prints, significant artists such as William Kentridge, Diane Victor and so forth. The thing is with printmaking is that firstly it is actually a very interesting process for the artist. Um, it also allows the artist to produce a number of copies, which is not always possible with all the other mediums. But also I think in terms of just accessibility for um, people wanting to start getting into buying art and so on. Prints are actually a really wonderful way of starting a collection. Printmaking has various techniques from quite rudimentary like mono printing, mono implying that there's only one, where you work onto a plate with ink and you get one print off it, one impression. Lino and wood carving are relief processes where one would remove the negative space, carve it away with carving tools and leave behind the positive impression. That gets inked up and that would be black usually and that's what prints onto paper. Intaglio processes are quite different where it involves either scratching into a plate, it cuts below the surface or etching into a plate using acids and one would rub the ink on and the ink would actually hold in the places that are below the surface. And that's really what intaglio means. I think an artist makes a drawing or starts with an image in their head and chooses a technique that is best gonna express what they're trying to capture in the drawing or in the image in their head. It might be etching, but it might not be. Some artists interchange between two techniques or combine two techniques. Very few artists focus on one technique and they really push themselves to cover a range if they consider themselves printmakers. Etching is quite a scientific process. It's a lot like baking in terms of timing, recipes, temperature, all these things affect the outcome. When you're working on a wood cut, when you cut something away, it's quite instant, that's it, that's the mark that's left there. Etching requires a lot of planning, that you have to forecast what's going to happen and plan to reach that point. So it involves blocking out, it involves creating an aquatint, putting it in a pool of acid for a certain amount of time, pulling it out, inking it up at a certain, in a certain way, consistently each time, so that you get the desired result. So if you're not a good planner, etching is not for you. Printmaking is creating an impression from a plate or a matrix. The first question a lot of people ask um, is where's the original? Or I don't want to buy prints because it's not the original. So we've been running a series of print demonstrations to make people see that the process of generating a print from a plate is a craft, it's a skill. And to consistently print an edition of 10 or 20 takes a high level of skill. So I've used wine making as a good analogy of print, where the matrix would be the barrel of wine. And everything that goes into scientifically, goes into generating that wine from that barrel is pretty much what a print edition is. So I'm not a printmaker, but watching printmakers think and work is very different to how anyone else works and how anyone else thinks. It takes a lot of discipline and I appreciate that. So there is quite a, a long relationship between Sassel and the Artist Proof Studio. Firstly, in terms of the, supplying us with many of the prints that we have actually acquired. But secondly, also the Artist Proof Studios have been involved with the Sassel New Signatures competition hosting some of the information sessions. I hope that you've enjoyed learning about the processes behind printmaking and that when we next talk about some of the prints in the art collection, um, that this will actually inform you the way that you understand the printmaking and the prints.